We'll try high end and I will absolutely remove the worst thing in the world. Motion blur. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, so motion blur off. Uh, everything else looks good. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, I've just <laughs> updated my PC and I'm using this video as a total excuse to just see how my PC performs on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with all the new components. So we've got 5950X, 3090, 32GB of RAM, M.2 drive, uh, 850 power supply, all the usual gubbins for the PC. Uh, here's a picture of it. And here's the specs if you want to see them written down. And not only are we going to be testing out the game, I'm also going to have a little sneak peek at uh, a new plane I purchased, this, uh, which is pretty cool. It's kind of weird. It kind of looks like it's backwards because the propeller is behind you. Bit of a unique design. Don't know anything about it other than it was in the store and uh, I wanted to try it out, so I bought it. And honestly, uh, I think it was £15 to purchase. And actually, that might sound like a lot, but when you compare it to like <laughs> Fortnite skins and things like that, it's an absolute bargain. So yeah, very happy with that. Right, I want to go and check out some stuff. So we're going to start on... Well, let's take off here. And we'll go... What we'll do in this video, uh, we'll test it in some various places. So um, we'll test London. New York might be a good one. Uh, we'll go to the Grand Canyon, see what it's like when it's empty, and we'll try the different settings and see how we get on. So, here we go, departure, and, uh, oh my goodness, this is rather busy, isn't it? Uh, let's go, let's set the time to midday, and, alright, here we are, ready to fly, let's go, baby! Okie dokie, thank you very much. Now, first impressions of this aircraft... Frickin' tin can. Hello. Great view, though. Do I even have a frickin', uh... I do. Oh, it's a two-person plane. Wow. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool plane. And first impressions. You saw we turned on, I believe it was high-end graphics saying, I'm playing at 1440p and I'm recording the gameplay on the same PC. Uh, a lot of streamers and YouTubers have two PCs. I'm rocking one because I can't be bothered to fiddle around with the audio settings, honestly. So just one PC for me. And we are getting like pretty good frame rates. 80, 70 frames a second right now. I know we're not flying yet, but that's pretty good. What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> no way. Oh, we can, I wonder if we can open that while we're flying. That is... <laughs> that is interesting. Okay. Cool. Can I close it again? Wow. That is some clean glass. Doesn't even look like there is any glass. That's amazing. And the usual stuff. We've got a little navigation. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, let's go for a little fly around London. And uh, let's do this. Right, here we go. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Alright, sweet. We're good. We've got ourselves all thing. You can see the actual ground there. That's pretty interesting. Through the middle. Nice. Alright. Sweet. How does this look? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit... Whoa! Okay. Never get in a plane with me, guys. There we go. Lift off. Uh, let's see. How does the... Oh, the landing gear's going up. Nice. It's a literal twist. Hmm. Alright, let's come back on throttle a little bit. This is freaking gorgeous. Holy banana fruitcake. Are you... Are you see... I don't know if this comes across in the video. Maybe try... I, I don't upload the videos in 4K. I upload them in 1440p. But let me know in the comment section. Does this come across graphically? Um, it looks absolutely stunning. And at 70 frames a second right now, I'm very, very impressed. Like, ooh. It's the O2 there. Wow. This plane is a strange one. It feels very agile. I don't know what it's, like, it's used for. Is it used for, like, 
acrobatics and stuff, maybe. Or training, maybe. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. But I can really throw it around a little bit and it's actually fine. This is incredible. Is what are my temperatures on my PC right now? That is what I want to know. Do I have my temperature thing up? No. All right, so hang on. This might cause some issues. Yes, Windows. I'm okay with you telling me the temperature. Okay, so we're running at around 60 degrees on the CPU. And we're clocking in at around 4.6 gigahertz. Okie dokie. And what about... Yes, that's fine. Uh, GPU temperature is 70 right now. Okay. Huh. So that's pretty toasty, but like I said, we're playing at high-end graphical settings. I'm recording a video, and this looks absolutely phenomenal. Tower Bridge there. Oh my goodness. Got the Tower of London. The Shard. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks phenomenal. This plane is great for sightseeing because there's absolutely nothing stopping my view here. Got the London Eye just there. Got the uh, Big Ben. How's the Parliament? All that good stuff. Woohoo! Yeah, this looks phenomenal, guys. <laughs> oh, I want to do a stream. I want to. I want to see if I can stream. I probably should be able to stream this, no problem. But that's amazing. Now, this is pretty dense city right now, so we're getting over 60 frames a second, which is just amazing. But I want to know how does New York City compare because that is way more demanding. So I'm not going to bother to fly to Heathrow here. I'm just going to jump out, and uh, I'll see you. In New York City, baby. Whoa. Okay, so frame rate out of the gate, ladies and gentlemen. I might actually try ultra settings here and see how that looks. Um, but right now, I mean, I'm going to give it a few moments because Microsoft Flight Simulator does have like this phase of like getting the game up to speed. It kind of has to like warm up. I don't know if that's a data streaming thing or what it is, but it does stabilize after a while. Okay, so yeah, we're hitting the six. We're just under 60 frames a second at high end. Okay, that's pretty impressive. I mean, we're not in the city yet. Let's go and actually have a little fly. Okay, I gotta say. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh my. Okay, so we're at 50 frames a second right now, which is pretty reasonable. Um. Like, you, this game doesn't need to be 60 frames a second because, I mean, you're in a plane. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're not relying on those quick reactions um, for high FPS gameplay. Like, 30 frames a second is absolutely fine. I think uh, that's what I've been playing on up to this point. But let's, let's actually switch up the graphics here. Let's go to Ultra. All right, cool. Ultra settings, 1440p, New York City. What do we get? says 30 frames a second. I'm going to give it a moment to kind of do the same thing as before. Kind of settle down a little bit. Uh, 33, 34. Might pick up a little bit. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Oh my. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, help. I made mistakes. Ooh, ah. Okay, we good? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, over 30 frames a second here, which is kind of fine for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm, I'm okay with this. This is good. This is good. What about medium settings, though? Because I'm pretty sure if we load up medium, we'll be, we'll be laughing. Okay, going up to medium here immediately made this smoother. So we're at 54 frames a second now. Barely touching the 60 FPS mark, but it is a lot smoother. So, oh man, so good. It looks absolutely incredible. Woohoo, look at that. Oh my. Woohoo. Whoa. <laughs> nice. 
Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh! Let's see how, how close to the water I can get. Oh, this is a terrible idea. This is a terrible... I can't even see the water. It's so freaking still. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, out here, when you're not actually in the city itself, 70 frames a second. As soon as you get closer, look, you start to see that little drop. But, yeah, I mean, for New York City, one of the most complex, highly, like, there's so much geometry here. It's kind of impressive, honestly. 60 frames a second right now. So I think my issue isn't actually a graphical issue. I think it's just, like, a game streaming issue where... The game's trying to load in all the detail. Uh, I am playing it on an M.2 drive, but maybe that's an improvement. Maybe it's not Gen 4, so maybe that would be an improvement I could make. But so far, this is freaking incredible. Woo, look at it. Oh, wow. Look at that lens flare. Hey. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So good. So good. Look at the Statue of Liberty. They look amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. How's that for graphics? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hey there, guys. So, I'm uh, visiting the Grand Canyon or the uh, Glen Canyon Dam, which uh, is really cool. And I suggest that if you haven't been here before, just definitely come here. But we are playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 at 1440p. Ultra settings, let me just to confirm for the doubters. There we go. Ultra. You know, 1440p. And we are, believe it or not. Oops. Uh, cancel. Can I resume? There we go. At 70 FPS. 70 FPS. Can you believe that? Ah, oh, so good. I mean, okay, let's get one thing straight. I know we're in the middle of nowhere, and the game isn't really doing anything right now. Like, there's nothing really around. But still, ultra settings at 1440p and getting over 70 FPS. I'm uh, very, very happy with this. This is, uh, this is phenomenal. But honestly, realistically, if you're playing this game and kind of playing it correctly, I hate to say that, but... If you're playing it like this, where you're actually in the air and, you know, you're not by the cities all the time. Uh, I mean, I'm like most of the time I'm getting 80 FPS. You know, most of the time you're not going to be near the ground. You're not going to be flying around the cities. So to see this kind of performance is uh, really at ultra is really cool. I freaking love it. Phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Okay, we've got a little airstrip here. Uh, we're going to go for a landing, if possible. I'm just going to reduce my speed a little bit. Just uh, so we're not rushing over there. Hopefully, I can get a good look at what's going on. Not entirely sure on the approach here. I think it's going left. So, I'm going to swing to the right and see if, see if I can come around on it here. Woo! Okay, sweet. Okay, looking good. This is way too fast. This is way too fast. And we need landing gear. Uh, we might have to abandon this. <laughs> I'm going way too fast. Uh, how about we go round? Let me just give us a little bit of speed here to turn around. Oh, I'm going to fall out of the sky in a minute. Oh, that was close. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that was close. All right, okay. This is the most terrible landing. Okay, right. 
This is a slightly better approach here. We need the landing gear out. It's kind of funny how you've got to do that manually. <laughs> this is a bit better. I'm still going way too fast, but we should be okay by the time we get to the end. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that should not have worked, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, in my defense, it's probably the sh like thinnest runway in the world. But, um, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.